So the LCR is is as follows. It's it's um, it's your stock of high quality liquid assets, and that's that's a specific regulatory driven driven definition. What constitutes your high quality liquid asset portfolio (HQLA) is given to you. There's a strict specific definition of what constitutes HQLA, and there's a there's a significant asset class that isn't HQLA, that's deposits with other banks. If you deposit money with another bank, in a call account, for example, so you'd expect to be able to get, out that, get that money out any time, at instant notice, straight away, same day, that isn't designated as HQLA. So that's a significant asset class that is outside your HQLA, but you might consider it as part of your liquid asset base, even though it's not HQLA. So that's the numerator of the LCR, and the denominator is total stressed net cash outflows over the next 30 calendar days. There's a word missing from that denominator. It should actually say stressed net cash outflows. So the Basel Committee has prescribed outflow levels for each type of product and type of customer associated with that type of product. And if there's a stress event, any stress event, we apply those outflow factors to determine what the denominator would be. The numerator divided by the denominator has to be greater than 100%. So that's my liquidity coverage ratio. And the next slide shows the the factors assigned associated with assigning um, sorry the factors associated with each type of products for the numerator and the denominator. Now, interestingly enough, if you look at level two A sovereign assets, there's a haircut. So in other words, if I'm holding liquid assets, unless it's cash, I don't take the notional amount as my numerator number. I'll, I need to apply kind of I need to shave it. I need to apply a margin to it or haircut. Uh, interestingly enough, in the Eurozone, that's 0%, the Eurozone sovereign, whereas in other jurisdictions, it could be anything from 1% to 2 to 5%. Um, I'm not familiar with a jurisdiction that's adopted the, the, the guide of 15%, um, but in a number of jurisdictions, the notional amount of the government bond isn't what's available to me. I've got to haircut it by some some percentage, 1%, 2 5%. So these are the suggested... Um, uh, these are the suggested... Uh, the guidance for outflow numbers uh, and haircut numbers for the numerator, the portfolio of liquid assets, and the denominator, which is your stressed cash outflows.